Okay, so today what we're going to be doing is purchasing a logo. Um, we're going to be applying it to the store and setting up the colour scheme to match that logo. Okay, now the first place you want to head to is Graphic River. Graphic River is on in Vato Market, the same place where we've got our Woo Zone bundle pack. Okay, so if you have any credit left over, you can use that to purchase the logo or you can deposit some more. Now personally, for my site, I've just went away and I've created a free logo. Now I'm going to put the link to that site up in the top right hand corner just now. Okay, so if you want to go away and watch that and create a free logo, then just skip this video. Um, now you will need to come back to install your logo onto the site. But there's no point watching how to buy a logo if you're just going to go and create your own logo. Okay, now there are plenty of logos available on Graphic River if you choose to use it. It's pretty easy to use, pretty simple to buy. Okay, now if you are going to buy a, a Graphic River logo, you will need some photo editing software like Adobe Illustrator. Okay, now I'm going to show you a few options in order to get that. Okay, now there's three options to obtain Adobe. Illustrator or the full works from Adobe and that is either get the creative cloud and pay a monthly subscription Or go over to Adobe Illustrator and you get a free trial there or you can take a monthly subscription Obviously once you finish the free trial the monthly subscription will start Now I've come back to my dashboard and I've noticed that I need to update a plugin Okay, so we're gonna go and do that just now just get that out of the road So if we click on updates Okay, and it tells us that WooCommerce needs to be updated. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll select that. And then we'll update it. Okay, now that's it updated. Okay, now what we're going to want to do now is we're going to scroll down to the bottom and look for the tab Kingdom. Now that's our theme tab. Okay, now once you've selected that, it should take you through to the, the theme page, the theme setup page. Now we're going to be looking for the tab layout. We'll click on that. Okay, and then the very first box we see there is upload logo. So what we're going to do is we're going to click that. And then we're going to find the file where you saved your logo, whether that be the free one or your paid one. And we're going to select that image and then we're going to open it. Okay, now there's our image. What we want to do now is we want to scroll down and insert to post. And if you don't do this, it won't appear, even if you do hit save. Okay, now you want to save it on this page as well, save the settings. And then we'll pop back and have a look at the site to see if it's changed. And there we go. We'll have a little logo. Happy days. Okay, now we want to go back. Um, we're going to change the colour scheme now, so you're going back to the same tab, scroll to the bottom, Kingdom, and then the Layout tab. Okay, now this time we're going to go to the to the tabs at the top and click Colours. Okay, now when you were creating your logo, or when you were in your Adobe Illustrator, you should have used your dripper tool to get your colours. Now make sure you note these colours into a notepad. So the colours in your logo match the colours on your website. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put the primary colour green. And I'll select probably black for the secondary colour. And then the menu colour will go for green again. And then the highlighted colour will put the brown from the logo. So I'll just get that from my notes. the brown paste that in there okay and the next thing you want to choose is the menu background color okay and i think use that to black as well yeah menu background so it doesn't blend in with the site because the site's already white so if you want your menu background to stand out you need to change that color Okay, now save these settings and then we'll go back and have a look and see what difference that's made. Okay, now that's us set up the colours to match the logo. Okay, now you can see my wee search buttons are green. 
Uh, and if I go over some things, I should highlight them brown. There's a basket. See, that's highlighting brown. Now, you can't really see much of this just now, but once we get further into creating the site, obviously all these colours will start coming out. And obviously, once we install a menu, you'll be able to see that as well. Step 5 complete. Now you have a logo and a colour scheme to match. 